In Hand in Hand, Ten Black Men Who Changed America, we read biographical profiles ranging from Benjamin Banneker to Barack H. Obama II. In chronological order, the major impact each one had on the history of this country is celebrated. This book is a tribute to the struggles and triumphs within our collective history, along with the strong narrative presented with a distinct voice for each character each man is introduced with a poem and a portrait. Stylized watercolor illustrations by Brian Pinckney are also embedded in the text. Andrea Davis Pinckney has done impressive research and shares her insights into these prominent and remarkable men. Who were their childhood influences? What did they accomplish? And how do they continue to motivate the next generation? This is an important book. I am delighted to present a 2013 Boston Globe Hornbook Honor Book Award for Nonfiction to Hand in Hand, 10 Black Men Who Changed America, published by Disney, Jump at the Sun Books, an imprint of Disney Book Group, edited by Stephanie Lurie, illustrated by Brian Pinckney, written by Andrea Davis Pinckney. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Roger. Good afternoon, everyone. Anyone who has dared to reach for a far off horizon knows what it takes. It takes a mighty pair of hands to craft a chain, build a bridge, make a change. It takes a mighty pair of hands to seize an opportunity, to grab a ball and run with it, to hold on tight as you climb toward a mountaintop that you can't fully see. For 10 black men who changed America, every finger, palm, and fist, every gritty, mighty, brown-skinned, sometimes calloused, other times challenged hand worked and worked reaching, pulling, believing, achieving, holding fast to freedom, hand in hand. For 10 black men ranging from Benjamin Banneker to A. Philip Randolph, whose monument greets visitors coming into Boston's Back Bay train station, to Barack Obama, mighty hands was what it took to hold a dream. Hand in hand started with a plea Please, said my son. Please, said my brother. Please, said the brothers at the barbershop, the university, the basketball court, the grocery store. Please, said the boys on the playground, the students in the library, the devoted souls attending Sunday's Bible study. Please, oh please, make us a book that reflects the powerful, determined, articulate, smart men we are. So I researched and wrote with my heart in my throat and tried as best I could to work the soil of their stories into the souls of the pages that I prayed would illuminate the vast and unstoppable achievements of black men everywhere. Brian Pinckney sketched and painted and used his artistic hands to render a series of exquisite portraits that cast a bold light on the beauty, the vulnerability, the searing emotional intensity of 10 men whose hands built this nation. The pleas of the boys and the young men who begged for a book like Hand in Hand was a true gift. Their cry was a chance for Brian and me to use our hands to honor them. And now, Brian and I are grateful to know that since Hand in Hand's publication, some of these boys and young men have rallied together to create father-son book clubs and mentoring forums, blogs, and, literary, and literacy programs to remind themselves and each other that it takes all kinds of hands coming together to make a change. Brian Pinckney could not be here today because his hands are on their way to the Midwest to speak to students. 
but Brian and I wish to thank the Boston Globe Hornbook Awards Committee for honoring hand in hand 10 black men who changed America. And thank you to so many whose mighty hands helped build this book. Thank you to our amazingly sure-handed editor, Stephanie Lurie. Where's Stephanie? There she is, thank you. And art directors, Joanne Hill and Whitney Manger. Thanks goes to the team of hands at Disney Publishing and Jump at the Sun for supporting this book and seeing its potential. Thanks to our agent, Rebecca Sherman at Writer's House. And finally, gratitude goes to all of you in this room this evening who put books into the hands of young readers. That is a mighty blessing. Thank you. <laughs>